Hello, in today's video we're going to talk about the List View widget. The List View widget is the most commonly used scrolling widget. What it does is, it's a scrollable list of widgets arranged linearly. So here's a quick example. We'll do our typical boilerplate. We'll do a stateless widget by typing in STLESS -E and hitting tab. We're going to do material app, scaffold, and an app bar. Okay, and running that gives us our basic setup there. So in the body of the scaffold, I'm gonna do a very basic list view so you can see what it looks like. I'll type list view. And then I'm going to put just a few text widgets in here. And you can see the A, B, and C right here in the very corner um, in its simplest form. Now we can clean these up a little bit by putting list tiles around them. I'm going to wrap a widget. List tile. Change child to title. And that looks a little cleaner. It's really not much of a difference, but at least it's not all bunched up here in the corner still. And it doesn't have to just be list tiles. We're going to put an elevated button here. And that's what that looks like. So that's the simplest way you can use a list view, but you can also use it with a list. So we'll start by creating the list itself. Then we're going to change list view to list view builder. Right here, we're going to add an item count. We're going to get from entries. So we'll just type entries.length. I'm going to remove this section right here. I'm going to do an item builder. And this item builder will return a list tile. So we created a list of strings up here at the top and the strings are A, B, and C. Then we called a list of view builder. It gets its total count from the length of the entries list. And then for each entry in the entries list, it creates a list tile with the value of the entries based on the index. And as you see over here, it doesn't look any different at the moment, but we'll change that in just a second. So let's say we were building a grocery list app. The app would allow you to enter in items you need from the store and then delete them if you either don't need them anymore or have already purchased them. We will start by clearing out the list because we don't want to start with any groceries. And then we will add a condition around the list view builder that if there are no entries in the entries list, it just shows a message. And then if you do a hot restart here, you'll see it now says no groceries in your list because the list is currently blank. 
Now we need a way to add groceries to the list. So the first thing we're going to do is convert our stateless widget into a stateful widget. So I'm going to right mouse click on it, show context to actions, and then convert to stateful widget. And then I'm going to put the text field where you can enter in your groceries inside the app bar. Next, we will add the floating action button, which is where you'll save the groceries to the list. Hot restart again, and you'll see up here is a text box you can type in, and the save button is down here. Now we're not going to mess with making it like super pretty right now. I'm just going for functionality mostly. So now we will hook up a controller to the text field so we can access it through the floating action button. And then we'll connect the text controller to the text field. Next, we will add the value that we enter into the text field into the list when the floating action button is pressed. So hot restarting that should allow us to enter apples into the text box up here, hit save, and it show up in your list. But you'll notice that apples is still in the text field. We can fix that easily. Down here below entries add, we'll use a text controller dot clear. Now, if we add a few more grocery items, it should clear out. You may have noticed though that they're not in alphabetical order. That's easy to fix as well. We just need to sort the entries above at the top of the build widget like so. And now you'll see they're in the right order. So now we're going to need a way to delete the groceries. We're going to do that through a long press on the list tile itself. So we'll come to the list tile and we'll top in on long press. Inside there, we'll do a set state. And then inside set state, we're going to use an entries.remove at that's based on the index we get from the item builder. Hold your finger or cursor down over one of the grocery items and it should disappear. You can also use a divider if you use list of view separated. Here's how you do that. We'll change builder to separated. And then we'll put a separator builder down here. So you can barely see it here, but we're going to make it a little darker. We'll just go inside divider and type in color, colors, black. And that's a little bit more visible. Obviously you can play with that in your app. You can also have a leading icon. We're going to put a grocery card at the beginning. And that's what that looks like. And you can also have it at the end as a trailing. And that's what that looks like. So this gives you the basics of the list view, but you'll notice one major flaw. If you close the app, everything disappears. So how do we fix that? We'll talk about that in another video. So here's another video you might like. And if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, please consider subscribing. Thanks. And I hope to see you in the next one.